guys, welcome to my channel, I'm Caroline and this video is about my recent trip to Disneyland Paris which I absolutely love, it's one of my favourite places in the whole world and this time, me and my best friend Kate, we talked my parents into not going to Florida which costs so much more, into Paris, like we always go now we've got our infinity passes, um, so it's free entry for me and my friend because we're on each and you've got discount on merch and restaurants and certain places access to certain parties, certain events. Um, the only event that was really going on at the time was the end of the Pirates and Princess event, which is now Superheroes. So I'm really glad I got the end of the pirate theme. Absolutely, really, 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 really enjoyed it. And my parents enjoyed it too. And yeah, um, got them to go. They were a bit like, mm, it's not going to be as good as Florida though, because Florida's bigger, there's more to do, there's more to see. But it's quicker to get around in Paris, there's less waiting times. I think the biggest waiting time was Big Thunder Mountain, which was an hour. And one time it was like one hour, five minutes. And it, the clock did say it would take like an hour and a half. So I think we did super, super well. And that's when we did our lunch at Quick Snacks and Crisps in the queue. There was no big deal. People were complaining about the queues all day, every day. For the two days we were there. And it's really no big deal. Compared to Florida, where it's like four hours for Peter Pan sometimes. I think half an hour for Peter Pan is really good. And all the classic rides like Pinocchio and Snow White, they were open during magic hours, which is like 8 a.m. till 10, and then general entrance from 10. They would like walk on. They would just like walk on rides. It was amazing. Anyway, without further ado, I'll quickly show you what I got, ramble on about that, and then I'll talk about more um, in Disney and go into more about me as well. And as we progress in the channel, you will learn that I'm like Disney obsessed, I go often, and I like buying things. So anyway, let's go. I was really good this trip. I really refrained. I knew exactly what I had in mind. I knew I wanted a pin. So I'll show you the first thing that I got. Um, is this pin. Now, I've always wanted a pin where it's just chips, like a big chip um, character, but couldn't see any. And then as soon as I saw this one in one of the hotel shops, so this is in the shop in the Disney Hotel that's inside the Paris Resort Park area, um, not too far from guest services, guest services, where you get your tickets and pass through guests and where you can store your luggage. Um, yeah, it's Miss Pats and Chip, and I absolutely love it. I think it's really, really cute. It's gone straight onto my Tangled Themes lanyard. Um, I've got many lanyards, and I've got many pins. That might have to be another video. I've got about 30 different pins, um, which all started from my first Disney job, where I kept them at the end of the job, and at the end of the second job I'd bought more, and more Disney trips I've bought more. I have traded some out, there's a phase where I had like, 50, I had like five Tinkerbell pins, and I wasn't really bothered about Tinkerbell, um, and I swapped them out for like a simple Olaf pin, and things like that, and people were like, wow, this one's like really expensive, why are you swapping at me? I'm thinking, do you like Tinkerbell? And... I can swap it for someone, something else that I can then trade and trade and trade until I get stuff that I like. At the moment I'm trying to swap out my ER and playing with the poo ones, the like the basic basic pay grade. And I've got loads of special with the poo ones from the rides that I used to work on in the Florida park. So I don't I don't need loads of pins. I just want one that's a memory that's off on my main notice board and not on my lanyard, really. Anyway, so that's a pin. I absolutely love it. I've got a massive collection. Um, yeah, and I saw these in the World of Disney store, they like the one in Florida, um, and this is in the Disney Village, outside of the two parks, you've got Hollywood Studios, and Disneyland Paris, and then you've got a village area, loads of shops, boutiques, restaurants, McDonald's, Starbucks, um, and then the boot, this one was the World of Disney, and I saw these, and I got so excited, now many stops, many times I've been to Disney, I knew they did with the poo one of these. I know you can get Beauty and the Bee scented plushies that smell of roses. I'd seen them, I'd seen them on this trip, but I hadn't really seen any one that jumped out at me. Now I saw this scrump doll, Lilo, Lilo's doll, scrump, and I got so excited. I made like <laughs> noise, and my best friend ran over, like, Are you okay? Like, what's going on? I was like, Ah! I smelt it, and just like it says, Smells of pineapple bed There you go. And it's um it's called a Yufti. A fifty. I'm 
ter- terrible. And it's originally for Disney Japan. That's where they first came out. The some of them have beans at the bottom to like weigh them down, so they send up like little fishies. They're bigger than some sums. Some tums. Oh my gosh, I can't speak today. Um, but they're scented and I thought it's just absolutely adorable with the little bow and all the details are perfect. Mm-hmm. And I just love it and I'm always they're always at the side of my desk, giving a squid, giving it a smile. I'm quite a sensory, textury person. I love, love this. Speaking of sensory and things that I love having on my desk at the moment is this. Now this was only like nine euros. I'm not doing the price version, but this Jack Skeleton Snow Globe. Absolutely love it. Looks yeah like falling snow, really glitter, silvery pearly bits inside. It's got um a big hat on the top with Jack's face is on on either side. And Jack's holding a little rest in peace gravestone in the middle and at the bottom. It just says Jack with the bat that he had on his neck. Um, now we're looking through the wall on the shelf. We'd come off to the little pirates, pirates of the Caribbean, and there's a whole Jack section, and there's a vest top that I already have, and this that I already have, and a mug that I'm thinking, hmm, how should I get that home? I'll see if it's in the Disney store at home. I saw these, and these were only, like I said, about nine euros. Now a pair of two socks is fourteen. Everything else I've got was like seven to fourteen dollars. So euros, sorry. So why was this only nine? And then I knew I'd get discount on it too. So I picked up my favourite one because some of them didn't have the D for Disney up here. It had it up here somewhere. Uh, some didn't have the skull print. So I tried to get the most perfect one. Which was the most perfect one that I really liked that just said, buy me so much more than the others. Like, buy me, buy me, buy me. So where's the till? And the guy was like, oh, just give me a second. Do you have a minute? I was like, sure. He came back with a box. He's like, this one's already boxed up for you. Shall I open it? Just so you know, there's definitely a snow globe inside. And I was like, oh, I really like this one that I've picked. So he opened it, and this one was inside. So this wasn't the original one I picked. This is the one that the cast member got all sealed. So I was like, oh, that's fine. You know, re-close re- it. So I'll take it back up. That's fine. I'll get the one that's boxed up nice and safe. Thanks very much for thinking. It's like, oh, you're from England, you know, travelling and all that. You want one that's definitely packaged up safe. So I thought, oh, I won't top them over. It won't cause much fuss. Scanned my discount from the infinity. I think in the end it was only like six euros. Um, I'm really bad at remembering the price of everything. I just usually buy things and hope for the best. I need to work on that. Uh, but yeah, that's my Jack Snow Globe. Absolutely love it. Go to my desk and shake it along with my Rapunzel themed one. Um, what else? Did I get? Yeah. So one of the best rides at Disney is Buzz Lightyear. You're in a little booth. You're in a little moving car, and you've got your laser guns, and you've got your partner sat next to you or if you're by yourself and you got to shoot all these zigzag targets and it's really interactive and it's really good and I'm bobbins with my aim. I don't hit the targets. I'm by the time I've got them, I've moved past them, the person's changed the, the car changed around to face the other way and I never win. I never win. The face on some pictures when I look down at the score and my mum or my my best friend has got like ten times the amount as me. One time I had like four thousand points and my dad next to me had 65,000 and he was just sat there blase oh look at this oh look at that he wasn't hot focusing concentrating like I was what was I doing don't know did my gun even work my excuse was oh maybe it's not working properly no I'm just rubbish at aiming but anyway you get off the bus ride and I just saw this straight away now always wanted a Toy Story alien figurine or a plush or something like that I have a Samsung version and I just thought, oh my gosh, it is. Well, it says it's G Tech, Disney Tech. Um, it's a phone holder. And I absolutely love it. So it's side of my bed. My little phone USB goes in through here and pokes into my phone, which I'll get. And put it in the pocket. And the arms go around. And these are like card and like spring loaded and like memory. So I put them in the little purse like that. Um, and I've got a, a landscape like game that I like to play. So I just keep it on there on my desk. Or I put his arms, little arms around it, and it just covers that. And then if I wake up in the morning and I'm snoozing and I've got another alarm to go off, I can just go, hello, snooze, oh, shut up alarm, shut up alarm. Absolutely love it. The only thing is, late at night, I'm going to my bed, where I'm like, you know, been out of my room, come back, it's dark. And as I get in, the, the light on the eyes, it looks like the eyes are watching you, like, 
moving around the bed, moving around the room. It's that classic effect of a woo, is it looking at you? Is it looking at you? Apart from that, I love it. I'm having being grouped out by eyes. Never mind. So yeah, that's my little alien guy. Absolutely love it. Again, it's got the beans at the bottom to weight it down. Um, so I know my phone's safe and secure in it. I also put my glasses in it. I'm going to move it next to my desk again to put the phone on it. Um, and if I'm, you know, if I'm writing and I stop, I put my pen in it, my glasses in it, anything. I do wear glasses. I just take them off all the time. And uh, then, also in the Disney Village, um, there's a shop called Disney Boutique. Um, and I absolutely love it. It's, uh, it had loads of the springtime theme, coming into the summer theme, lots of different types of clothing and articles and homeware and plates and bowls and things, but more clothing. And a section at the back, I just saw black and purple stripes. Black and purple are my two favourite colours. Black's my favourite to wear. Purple's my favourite colour overall, but I usually would say black. Um, and I absolutely loved it. I saw the price. I was like, oh, for a sweater though. Then I read the caption on the wall, and it's saying how these clothes have been given a second lease, lease of life. They're from different parts of the world. So some are from like D Disney T Japan or Florida or um, or California, or they're just they never sold them, they've been like rewashed, zhuzhed up, whatever. Anyway, then I decided to try it on. My best friend was like, I'm not talking you in or out of it, it's up to you. You love it, it's you, it's your colours. Why aren't you at the till already? Just get on with it. I tried it on and I absolutely fell in love with this sweater. Um, it's a size extra small, it's a baggy comfy fit, comes to below my bum, really a bit like a dress. The sleeves are nice and baggy and loose on. I like hiding my hand in sleeves just when I'm chilling and um, I can do that. And it's got a nice big white Nikki doo -doo -doo, on back. Oh yeah. And the front is MKY. So Nikki worldwide. Um, so it's pretty retro. Um, I asked the girlie and they said it had been there for a while, a hot minute. Um, yeah, and it also has a hood. So I absolutely love that there's um like a like a charity section of this fancy boutique that clothes get like a second lease of life, they're from different parks. There were really nice denim jackets and trousers and skirts from Japan, from Florida, things like that. And I saw this and I just I had to have it. I put down a few other things I was gonna get and thought I need to spend my money on this. It was actually about fifty euros. And then after my, I got full 20% infinity pass discount off it, which was about nine euros. Okay, my math is really bad. I can't really remember the specifics, but I know I got nine euros off it. And I ended up spending about 40 euros on it in the end, um, because it was reduced and all of that and with my discount. And I just had to have it. So I'm really glad I've already worn it a couple of times. As soon as I got in the house and unpacked, this went straight on so comfy that I realised that I'm a bit gross from the airport on the plane. I probably should have a shower before I get into bed as well. Then I put this on for a hot minute before I went into bed and I just love it. It's so soft. Um, I love my sweaters, my jumpers, anything cosy, even though it's getting really nice and warm here in Manchester when it's not raining and it's a bit hot. This is still so cosy and warm in the house with my joggers. Um, yeah, I just really, really love it. That's pretty much all I got was a plushie, a phone holder, my sweater and a pin. I did also get a ring um, for the month of May for my friend's birthday, which I'm not going to show you just in case you see this video because part of the whole confidence thing of doing this channel is saying to my friends, I finally did that thing that I've been wanting to do for years. Uh, I'm finally trying to upload Facebook, YouTube videos and not be that bad at it. Um, so yeah, I don't want to ruin the surprise. I've already packaged it up in nice blue paper, ready to post this weekend. So I did get a Disney ring for her as well, and a Disney key ring, uh, again, some some themed. Really, really cute. Now for Disney, I usually wear things like this, so Jungle Book t-shirt. I actually had... Oh. Um, whoa, whoa, how graceful that is. I, I had... So more things like black shorts with like stitch printed all on it. 
and then even though it doesn't go at all i would wear this i don't really do white but the black on it so it's fine um it's rapunzel my girl rapunzel she's one of my favorite characters as well as the aliens as well as well i have a lot of favorites pirate fairy love her rapunzel i like chip i like trump like the aliens just disney yes anyway so i would wear this that kate ordered for me just in time got it just in time for the trip for packing it's amazing and my rapunzel hair clips as well um i absolutely love the trip again i do so i'd wear uh, to disney i would wear disney clothing and then come back with even more stuff it was really good this time when I get into things. And again, when I buy things, I put them straight onto my lanyard. I've got the Naked Mole Rat from Kim Possible. I don't know if whoever, anyone out there remembers Kim Possible. It's my favourite Disney cartoon. She's my girl. She's amazing. There is new modern TV, uh, Disney Channel shows with, you know, Ninja Spy, Teen Girls from school. And they're in the cheerleading squad, and they do this, that, the other, and they fight crime, and they're awesome. Not as awesome as KP. Nuh uh. Apparently, there's a live action coming of it. So you better not mess it up because it's going to rule my life. On top of Infinity War. Do you have a um, On top of so many other Disney things, Game Possible, I'm so excited for. Sometimes they do reruns. It's on my Disney Live channel. I cannot wait. It's amazing. Anyway. So yeah, and then these are the ones I just wear the most, some of my, some of my favourites. I've got Boo as a little little girl. I also have her in a monster suit up on my main notice board. I've got Princess Tiara, and I thought it would be really cute to put her on top of the picture of Rapunzel. Again, I went for Disneyland Paris' 25th anniversary um, a while ago, and I got this pin then. Um, I didn't get a special one for... Pirates and Princesses. I did try looking, but I didn't really ask anyone, so probably my own fault if I missed out. I love Wreck It Ralph. Excited for Wreck It Ralph too. So there's my girl Vanellope Vanel picking sweets. And Ralph is helping her out. I love it. It's a chunky pin. And then under it's one from when I was um, working at Disney Cruise Line. It's Mini Sarah in a ship. I was going to trade it out, but then I realised I love it too much. Not really huge on Mini, but I do have a Mini bag and this and some of the things that are Mini themed. Just like I've got Tinkerbell themed, they're not my favourite, but I'm not going to get rid of them anytime soon. And then there's my card holder from when I worked at the cruise line um, with my Disney annual pass in it. Yep, so there you go. And then on the other side, these are ones I would just usually normally wear, either on this lanyard now, or my Jack Skellington themed one from Nightmare Before Christmas. So that's 66, which is the code for Stitch. That's the thing that then turned into Stitch. I've got the classic Pixar lamp. Absolutely love it. Um, looking for Mickey's. I'm always looking for hidden Mickey's in things. Easter eggs. This link, this ride links to this. Um, just like this pin, which has the Mickey heads for the ladybird spot. Thought it was really cute. I did pop a Tinkerbell pin for this one. And the cat member was like, why do you want a ladybird for? I like ladybirds. I like pins. It's a hidden Mickey. It has Mickeys on it. It's great. Yeah, so I usually wear that around the, and then easily get to my pass. Um, the discount is really good in the park if you do get a pass, but you're going to spend coin because it's Disney and it's expensive and things are cute that you can't resist. Um, yeah, at the end of the video, I am hoping to have good footage. I took some really bad footage. It's blurry. I'm getting too excited. Even if I cut the music out, it's still not the best. So yeah, I've got um, parts of the Disney Pirate Princess themed parade. By the time this video airs, I know it's going to be June. But hey, I did go at the end of May. I caught the end of the celebration for that. I absolutely loved the trip. Um, yeah, the main purpose for taking, for me and my best friend, going all the time is, it's not so easy to get over to Paris. Um, you can go to the Eurostar. They're always like on strike with the trains and things at the moment, so we flew. And again, a few trips pay the same price as going to Florida once, like every few years or something like that. Um, Timeline-wise, we did Universal instead of Disney when I finished high school. When I finished college going into uni, 
we were at Disneyland with me and my parents and we absolutely loved it. It was magical in Florida, loved the Florida Mall, things like that, loved it. Went to uni, instantly saw a presentation on how you could work for summer, did an internship for Disney. So I signed up, next thing I know, it's June and I'm doing a summer intern in August, working with the poo um, and the Mad Teacup ride in the Florida park, Disney World. That was an amazing experience. So that was my second time at Disney, um, Florida. And then before starting the job and after I had a few days in the park, um, it was amazing. And then we had a holiday there afterwards. No. Um, yeah, and then I, when I finished uni, I worked in nurseries for a bit. And then I, started, I worked, I quit my nursery job and the flat I lived in, which was so cute, to go and work for Disney Cruise Line and I did two ships, the Fantasy and the Wonder, so coming home, doing a nanny job and then moving back here, we moved around a bit to Disney. So yeah, I've been to Disney World Florida as a visitor, I've worked in Magic Kingdom on the ride for a job for a summer intern, I worked on two of the cruise ships, the cruise ship line and I go quite often, every few months, on my annual pass to Disneyland Paris, where I'll be renewing my pass soon to go um, running there in September. By running, I mean they do charity marathons, and my best friend's doing um, the 5k and the 10k, the half marathon. It's a lot of work, I need to do my training, I'm at least doing the 5k with her, and the Disney Run friends that we've made, it's going to be really, really cute, it's running for charity, we get to dress up. It isn't any, any excuse to go to Disney and I can't wait to see what I pick up there. Probably things I said no to this time. Um, but yeah, I did get some really cute things. I absolutely love this guy. I think this is my favourite thing that I got apart from the sweater. And every Disney trip means more Disney tickets and pictures upon the wall and more merch and things like that. Alright guys, I'm going to go. I think I rambled on enough. And now I just want to be like, and I just want to put my swastika on. Um, yeah, I hope I, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I definitely will be uploading more Disney fied things on here, like my pins and my experiences working for Disney and my Disney trips. I might vlog next time I'm at Disney. Um, but I'm usually really bad at things like that. I'm too excited and overwhelmed and going, oh my god, it's the princesses. Um, like I've never seen them before. When I've seen them loads, because I'm. You know, I'm lucky I've worked there and all of that. So yeah, without further rumblings, bye guys, bye!